You won't believe this thrift flip. Keep watching. So we're going to start off with this that I got from Goodwill. This is a sort of a, I don't know, organizer that you hang on the wall by your door. We're going to give this thing a makeover and let me tell you, it is extreme, so keep watching. You can easily remove the backing here so you have lots of options and the possibilities are endless. But it does need some cleaning, so we're going to get to doing that. Just using these little antibacterial wipes and just wiping this entire thing down. Front, back, sides, top, around the hardware, every bit of it. It's always important to clean up your items when you get them from a thrift store anyway because you don't know what their previous life was like and you don't know, you know, what germs you're bringing in. Look at all that dirt. Giving them a fresh start, so a bath is the first part. Then I'm going to use my metal ruler from Dollar Tree and pop out this little, I don't know, it's almost like a wicker insert. Clean that up and I'll take the back off and the cork board off. Put it to the side. That can be brushed off too if you want to brush it off. I'm going to take a just my regular little screwdriver. I keep in my toolkit over here and I'll remove this hardware. This makes it so much easier when you are painting an item just take the hardware off otherwise you're going to have to paint you're going to have to tape all around it to keep from getting paint on it and it slows your process down so this makes it a lot quicker those are tiny screws so be sure you put everything together in a bag or a bowl place them to the side and i'm going to use this rust oleum 2x flat white paint i'm going to take it outside and give it two coats i left the black the back of it just plain Okay, so now it's time to replace that hardware. I did clean that off. It's black, so it's going to go with pretty much anything. I didn't notice any scratches or damage to it. But if you like a, rust of, a rustic or aged farmhouse look, then, you know, rusted pieces would be fine. You could also take your hardware and spray paint it. Any metal color that you like or whatever works in your decor. The likelihood of finding a piece identical to this is probably not too high. However, my channel is about making it my own, so you make it your own. This is for inspiration because I want you to see what a difference just a little bit of extra time and loving care can do to a project. And this piece, I probably paid maybe a dollar and a half. So then you're going to take some fabric. This is also thrifted fabric. Apparently someone was, there was a bunch of remnants of fabric, so apparently someone was either maybe making masks or making quilts or crafting with it. And I decided it would be great to cover up my little piece of cork board. Plus I'm totally into lemons. If you've been watching my channel, you know how I'm obsessed. Now I'm just picking which part of this image would be the best, which one's the best fit, and which piece I like the best. I'm taking my rotary cutter. These things are so sharp and just going down the sides. I want to make sure that I have excess on both sides about eh, maybe an inch because I want to wrap it around the back. I won't be gluing this down on the front. We're still going to use it as a cork board. Now I'm just going to reload that glue gun and start on the back by adding some glue, folding it over and pressing it down. Please excuse my nasally voice. My allergies have gone wild. It is full-blown spring here in Southern Alabama where I live and my sinuses are getting hit pretty hard. So I sound a little strange, that's why. Okay, you can pull out all those little extra strings on the back if it bothers you, but no one's gonna see this. Okay, so if you notice when I pop it back in here, there's still some space that didn't get covered. And that is so easy to fix. I'm going to use a little bit of ribbon and just trim that out. This is some Christmas ribbon that I had, I think, from Dollar General that I got on clearance. No, maybe Big Lots. I think it was Big Lots. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the top to hold that piece in place. 
Make sure you leave it longer on the edges so you can wrap it around the back. Same thing here on the bottom. Just going to go all the way to the edge. And I think it's a nice detail. It looks good with the fabric that I chose. And you're just going to fold this over. Remember, there's going to be a backing on this, so there's no need to finish this out in any way. Okay, so there's our court board portion. I'm going to place this in the bottom. I think this gives it a very pretty cottage look. Put the backing back in place. And then press the tabs back down. Now that portion is good to go. Now we're going to work on the top. I got some of these little signs. They were already pre-made and they had like a little hanger on them. I just pulled the little hanger off the staples and I'm going to hot glue this section to the top. I don't need those little open spots, nor do I need that wicker looking panel for the back. I thought this would be a great option if you wanted to personalize it with your name or put a particular date that you needed to remember or maybe even a scripture or saying that you enjoy. Now we're going to work on the second panel here in the section in this section and it didn't have any tabs so I'm not sure what was there in the first place. We're going to fix that by measuring it. I think this is a four by six and I'm just going to trim down some foam cork board which came from Dollar Tree. By the way, you can get pretty fabrics also at Dollar Tree if you're lucky in your craft or square section. You could use an old pillowcase or a sheet or a napkin, piece of a tablecloth, whatever you wanted to use. Just, you know, think outside the box a little bit. Make it your own. So once I get that cut down, I'm going to make sure that it fits, and it does. Now you could leave that white if you wanted to, but I want to cover it with a coordinating print. So I have some of this that came out of a paper pack from Target, and I got it at Goodwill, I think. And I'm just going to, it's a green, black, and white, kind of a plaid. I'm just going to measure that out, cut it out, and then glue that down. You could use a glue stick if you want to, or just use some dots of hot glue and put that down on your, around the edges. And I'm just going to do the top and the bottom. There's no need to cover it in glue. And I'll have a nice, flat, smooth, finished look. I think it looks good with that print that I'm already using. And I've chosen a sticker from a, it's like a dimensional, see there, sticker from Dollar Tree. They have several packs of these. They're really, really nice quality. And I've used them in projects before. I'm just going to press that down and then using a combination of my scissors to give it a rough cut and then my I use manicure scissors for detail scissors. You'll see those here now. I'm going to go in around closer to it and just trim that out. I wanted to give it some dimension and have it stand off of that section just a little bit. So it kind of crushed it down just a little bit when I was cutting with my scissors at the wrong angle. Just went back in with a uh, pin and fixed that up. Touched up the little pieces that should have been black that kind of looked white because they were had a little dent in it. And I just fixed it. A little hot glue. I'm going to put it in the center. Matches nicely. With the backing there and with the bottom section. Look at that. Perfect. Use a little bit of hot glue in there and hold it down. Now, I wanted to let everybody know we are at about 536 subscribers right now, and I have decided to reward myself with a Cricut silhouette or something of that nature, some type of a vinyl printing machine. Once I re reach, blah, blah, antihistamines, when I reach a thousand subscribers. So if you can help me get there, I would appreciate it so much. You can do that by liking my videos, by commenting, and definitely by sharing because when you share it with people who like this type of thing and they like my videos they subscribe too and we have more people in our family so that's the idea and I really 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 want a, a cricket so if you could help me with that I would appreciate it so much
And I promise you, when you do that, you will continue to get these wonderful videos from me of all these thrift flips and Dollar Tree videos and all this craftiness on a budget. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!